Hi, my name is Lindsay Schiller, and I'm here from Florida State University Career Center representing the College of Fine Arts and the College of Music. And today I have with me Jenna Childers from Jackson Family Wines. She is the National Campus Recruiting Manager. Hi, Jenna, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm doing well, thank you. So as we're doing coffee chats, can you tell me about your coffee cup you brought with you today? Of course I can. So I actually poured some decaf coffee because I can't have more than two cups a day um, into my favorite coffee cup. Um, this is actually my best friend who I've known for about 15 years. She made this coffee cup mug for me with photos of our adventures over the last you know, decade. Um, We've always lived many miles apart, whether it's you know her living in Hawaii or in Seattle. Um, but for some reason, we always you know find a way to reconnect. And she's the one who always would get me the random Christmas presents, like a slinky or an old school T-shirt or something really funny. Um, but this was the first Christmas she bought me something very sentimental. So I use it every day. My pods, my seven ounce pods, fit perfectly in here. So here she is. Yep, best friend. She keeps me centered every day. I love that. I brought a Mandalorian mug this time. <laughs> I'm excited to show it off. Just got it for Christmas. But yeah. I love that. So we'll Christmas coffee cups. Cheers. <laughs> the two of us. Cheers. <laughs> okay. So Jenna, um, so we talked about your coffee cup a little bit, but can you tell me more about Jackson Family Winery and then your role there? Of course, of course. So a uh, little history behind Jackson Family Wines. We're a family owned and operated organization where our headquarters are in Santa Rosa, California, which is just north of the city of San Francisco. Um, we own land in California, Oregon, as well as internationally where we actually plant vines and we make wine. Um, we own over 40 wineries across the globe. And in California, we actually own our own distributor. So we're very, very fortunate to be able to, you know, connect with our own people and have our own storytellers on the street every day, really representing, you know, the story of Jackson family and where we came from because we started in 1982. So um, long story short, family owned and operated. We have about 1900 employees uh, from farmers to family. Uh, we're I'd say the second largest land owner in the state of California besides the actual state of California with only about 30% of our land planted to vine. So we're, we really are farmers, but aside from just being farmers, like we are a full blown organization. You know, we hire for every position because we're a fully functioning supplier and distributor. That's awesome. So in terms of your recruiting role, are you recruiting students kind of just in the California area or nationally? Uh, what does that look like? Yeah, yeah. So I like to say first and foremost that I do hire predominantly, I'd say 95% of the time for a sales role in California. It is our backyard. It's the place where you're going to, you know, drink the juice and fall in love with the Kool-Aid, if that makes sense, um, in the wine industry. So what, what better? Um, so yeah, I definitely hire for sales in California. Down the road, I hope to partner with some of our uh, partners, partner with our partners um, in other states across the country to help hire talent um, for their distributor partners. But I'd say the best um, opportunity is to really get in the backyard, learn about the product, and then maybe go back home, whether it's in Florida or Texas or New York or Chicago, um, in an elevated role. So you'll, you'll get that experience here in California. Some of the you know, best training in the industry. Um, so yeah, I, that's kind of what I hire for. I'm also kind of a liaison when it comes to, you know, finding talent for other parts of our organization. I'm really close with our talent acquisition team um, because obviously we know that every college has a lot, of a lot of talent. So I'm here to kind of help find that and navigate and educate. So for my students, you know, looking for opportunities at Florida State, what would you say are the typical entry level positions you hire for? I know you mentioned sales a little bit. Are there mm -hmm. internships or there ways to kind of get in on the ground floor? Yeah, yeah. So we definitely have a few internships that we, we typically post online um, and there's not many of them, but they're typically a production, a harvest, 
uh, internship role, which is more, you know, hands-on out in the field, out in the market, literally of like making wine. Um, we don't have any sales internships at this time. Um, for us, it really is hiring full-time employees and getting them, you know, in at the ground floor there um, and then working their way up. So um, we do, we do have some internships, but hiring full-time is definitely our goal. Sure. So what do those ideal candidates look like and do they need a particular major or skill set? Yeah. Um, I like to say diversity makes the world go round. Um, so there definitely is like a specific type of student that likes to get into sales, right? Outgoing people, people who like to spark conversation with the, you know, the person at In-N-Out Burger while you're ordering your order. You know, those are the type of people that usually like outside sales because they're really comfortable connecting with other people. Um, so those, those with those, that skill set are really pretty successful here. I'd say ones who are competitive, ones that like to develop relationships, um, people who are just friendly. I mean, people are not going to buy something from you if they don't genuinely like you. Um, so being just a likable person and a hard worker, I think are just some generic transferable skills that no matter what major you are, what your background is, if you worked while you're in school, like if you have those foundations, those transferable skills will pay off if you go into a job in sales. So um, I always like to say I was a psychology major. That is not traditional for going into sales, but I love people. I love building relationships. And I'm very, I'm very committed to whatever I do. So when I graduated, I didn't want to just take a job at any company. I didn't just want to, you know, get an offer letter and then have a job. I waited about eight months after graduation till I found the right company culture, the right job that I knew would provide like a long-term future in an industry that I was passionate about. I liked, I liked food and wine. I always did even before I was 21, but you know, touche. <laughs> um, so I knew that this was the industry I wanted to be in and lo and behold, almost 10 years later, I'm still here because I was very, very selective. Like I interviewed companies. I didn't let the company interview me because I'm the one who's going to change your company. Right. So. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot. Of that's, that's great. Uh, would you say that that's kind of the advice you would impart to undergrad students, or do you have any general advice? Like, these are things I wish I did when I was in school, or, you know, this is my advice recruiting out in the world for students coming to get an entry-level job. I have so much advice. I could probably do an hour-long video of just, like, advice I would love to give people, you know, um, but I can't. Maybe I should. But I, I would say some of like my best high level advice I could give is interview as many companies as you possibly can while you can. Career fairs, info sessions, all of these opportunities are literally handed to you for free or part of your tuition. Um, so take advantage of it because the second that you graduate, you are a small fish in a really big pond. So stand out, follow up. If you like a recruiter or an employer, and they like peak some interest for you. And that's kind of a route you want to learn more about. Reach out. Like employers and recruiters are doing these types of, you know, networking events to find talent. Like I am out there searching for the right people. So they're out there too. Um, so I'd say just take advantage of that. Utilize the Career Center for resume review, resume rush, mock interviews. Um, utilize your professors to help you network because they have you know, employer partners as well. Um, so network, network, follow up, follow up um, and interview those companies. Don't let them interview you. Like you want to know if you're going to fit in with that company culture, who cares what that first job is going to be? Because the first job is always kind of going to suck out of college. It just is. That's just life. Move on. But you want to look at like five years from then, right? Not just that first job, but in five years, can you see yourself really embracing that company culture, working your way up and making a career there. If you can see that, target that, target that, not that school, target that employer. That's, that's great advice. I definitely wish I'd taken some of that when I was, you know, younger. Me um, too, because I didn't, I didn't, I did it all on my own. And that's why my advice comes from like a personal background. Like I never went to a career fair until I was an alumni. 
Mm-hmm. I never went to the career center for resume advice. Like I just never did. And now I, all I do is I talk with career centers all day long. <laughs> so all the time just working with us. Well, uh-huh. well, this is a special, like kind of last question that really just applies to your company, not everybody, but I enjoy a Pinot Grigio Chardonnay palette. What Jackson family wine do you recommend to me? Oh my gosh. Well, First and foremost, the wine that keeps our lights on is Kennel Jackson Vintners Reserve Chardonnay. Um, you can find it anywhere. Um, highly recommend that. Um, I would definitely say if you wanted to spend a couple more dollars, you could do something like along the lines of like La Crema. Um, if you want to go for something international, um, we can go there. I mean, the list kind of goes on. To, it really depends. I mean, I could get really geeky on you and I'm, I won't, but like, do you like a lot of oak influence or stainless steel Chardonnay? Do you like high elevation Chardonnay or ground floor Chardonnay? Do you like Chardonnay that, you know, is sustainable in practice or not? Do you like Chardonnay from different countries? That's wild. Oh, I mean, well, I could go on for a while. Continue after this, for sure. Um, but <laughs> yes. yeah, so if you are looking for opportunities, Jen is a great person, you know, for finding the right job or internship or maybe finding the right drink, it sounds like. Um, <laughs> Yes. So thank you so much for joining today. You know, cheers to your day at work, um, drinking our coffee, but have a great one and I'll talk to you soon. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.